on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time some news, baby. Today we got 53 mods on the testing list, and we've got four modders to talk about, including some new projects from custom modding. Check it out. Starting off today with the mod testing list. These are the mods that Giants are testing right now for Mod Hub release. Currently, there's 53 mods on the list, up from the 30 that we had yesterday. In stage one of testing, aka PC testing, we've got some notable mods like the Bednar Terraland pack. Dumbbells Weight, and the Fent 900 S4. Also in testing, we have Grain Mill Plus, John Deere 725X, and the 7R Series Gen 1. Can't forget about the John Deere STS 70 Series, or the Massey 337 AL Series, or the Potato Processing. And of course, we've got some maps in Stage 1 of testing, and those are Black River, La Coronella, Maple Farm, and Umbrian Valley. Making our way down to Stage 2 of testing, aka console testing, we've got some notable mods, including the Case IH Magnum 8900 Series, the John Deere Pickup Pack, and the Massey 9407S. And your only map in testing for consoles right now is the Construction Map Update. With all that being said, we still have 225 mods sitting waiting to be tested, down from 249 yesterday, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is also down today to seven workdays. Giant Software shared their Throwback Thursday picture this morning, asking who wants to see these collectibles return. That sounds a lot like a tease to me, I don't know about you, especially when we've seen the return of collectibles around maps in FS22, what better map to have hidden gold on than Silver Run Forest? This is, of course, not a declaration that they will, but come on, it's almost too obvious at this point. I think gold would be the perfect collectible for the Platinum Edition map, but can you think of anything else that would be better? Drop your ideas in the comments. Customonic says, it's deer season, showing off eight new deer mods coming to mod up for all platforms. They say, in the next few days, we got the S760, 770, 780, and 790 combine harvesters. We also have the 4940 self-propelled sprayer, which we know at least yesterday was in console testing, as well as the CA50 air cart and the brand new P576 air drill and the very popular 7R series. They also ask, what do we think of a 6R series? I think they should go for it. The more mods, the better. Bring it on. Custom modding already has eight massively popular mods on Mod Hub right now for all platforms and one for PC and Mac. And these new ones are gonna basically double their offerings. I can't wait. Farm Central Soul are bringing back one of the most unique mods from FS19, the 4x4 Farm Trailer, as it was called back then, but they now appear to be calling it the Small Truck. Either way, this is said to be a vehicle built around 1998 with different configurations, custom built with small diesel engines with low power between like 10 and 25 horsepower, and gearboxes with up to 14 gears. Back in Farm Sim 19, it was available with different body configurations, including a couple different tipper beds, bell trailer, and an animal trailer configuration. Are you excited to see this coming back? It's definitely one of the most unique vehicles that we've ever seen in Farm Sim. Another great vehicle is from Servertex and their Valmont Tractor. They say that they're halfway done with it right now and are continuing to push the progress daily with a 4x2 version almost ready for the basic in-game stuff and soon with more options, it's looking good. Once they make the adjustments with the 4x2, then the 4x4 version will come into play and they will be ready. Since they're only about halfway done with it right now, still gonna take some time, but it's really great to see the progress on this beautiful tractor. And lastly today already, 82 Studios has been working on a few big mods this week, including the TLX 2022 single cab version and the return of the 50 foot gooseneck that's gonna haul just about whatever you wanna put on it. We've even got a sneak peek at some of the customization options for the TLX 2022 single cab, which yes, will include the Baja version. Things are looking good on both of these mods and you can see more by checking out his most recent live stream on YouTube or you can check him out on Facebook, link below. And you can check out this super duper self away outro segue mumbo jumbo right hero work. Yeah, just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. No release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods are going to be released. And if it didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything you want to know about and some things you need to know about as well going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!
right, today starts NFL football. Who you pulling for? 